I'm now in the Pride of the Paddock area with Ian Medcalf. Good afternoon, Ian, and welcome to Race Retro 2019. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. So, can you give me a little bit of a history about the car? Yes, yeah, certainly. It's, um, it's an ex-circuit car. Um, built originally for uh, the Special Saloon series in the late 70s. Um, the car was built specifically around its uh, special engine, which was a two-cylinder half BDA effectively, uh, sawn in half yeah. to give it 850 cc's. And, and the car was built around that engine. Okay. Uh, and, and it's probably more famous for that engine than the car itself. So it did actual circuit racing then? Yes, originally. Um, probably until the early 80s uh, and, and then I purchased it in 87 and uh, we my thing was hill climbing and sprinting so that's where I've taken it now unfortunately there are very few places that you can take it to circuit race from a, from a championship or series point of view so can you g give me a, uh, a specification of the engine at all yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a swift tune built engine. Um, it's got a very, very special uh, internals, what they call a DC5 uh, crankshaft, pistons and rods. It's not an out and out race engine, it's built a bit more for you know, tractability, so it's, it's not a hugely powerful, although it is very powerful. Um, it has all air parts inside, it's a thing of beauty inside, it's a shame that you can't see what's going on really. Yeah. But it has straight cut gears, uh, close ratio dog engagement gearbox, limited slip differential, a very very light flywheel um, paddle clutch, um, and, yeah, right. but we're still on old school the distributor, not yeah, points, yeah, yeah. Uh, there is some electronics yeah, there, yeah. but it's still distributor points and a, a, an old Weber carburetor. So we're not fancy engine management. Um, and it produces upwards of about 141, 142 horsepower yeah, and right, yeah. just short of 110 foot pounds of torque. Okay. So it, uh, it fairly moves. Mm. It, 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 its forte really is acceleration. Mm. Um, it, it, it sets off from the line in the yeah. in the hill climb job yeah. really really well um, it'll do sub two seconds to 64 feet which is 1g of acceleration yeah. it's one of the quickest cars yeah. off the line um, it, it really makes your eyes open <laughs> open when you set off you get, pu you get pushed in the back into yeah, the back yeah. of the seat yeah you re <laughs> really do get pushed back yeah. in and if you've not been in it for a while yeah. it, it, it really grabs your attention so we, we've made the first 64 feet our speciality really right. it's just the remainder of the job that's <laughs> a problem keeping it on the track yeah yeah keeping it on the course yeah, definitely yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. so how much have you actually done to the car um, I, I didn't build the car itself, I got it as a rolling shell, um, a lot of the early development had been done um, but they'd never really probably had the time to make it look as beautiful as it could be, uh, which has been what I've done. Um, restored it back to, you know, um, as original as you can do and still be able to compete, you know, in, to modern rules, especially safety rules. Um, but I've, I've strip the car down to the last nut and bolt on several occasions um, I do all my own welding and um, I'd, I've, I've had to do a bit of paint work to it uh, myself but I do all my own fabrication I maintain it myself um, the only thing that gets done is the engine is purely looked after by uh, Nick Swift at Swift Tune uh, it, it's just too special a thing to even well, contemplate yeah. touching yourself if it needs anything I just take it out and take it back. Yeah. Um, but it's great, it's a great reliable way of doing it if you're fortunate enough to be able to do it that way. I just pick it up in a plastic bag, put it in the car and thrash it to death. And, it's and, and how, long, how long is it bet between uh, rebuilds or when, it's looked at, when it's had a, they've had a look at it? How, how many? It, in, in theory, I think, I think their historic engines do about 30 hours. So I'll probably never achieve that in a whole lifetime of hill climbing. I tend to take it back every three or four years for a refresh, yeah. um, just from a reliability point of view. But we've never had any problems with it. it it's just a, a kind of a um, reassurance, really, that it's yeah. all right. Yeah. Yeah. They're so expensive, you, you want yeah. to make yeah. sure that nothing's yeah. going to go wrong. But we keep a very careful eye on it. You know, I'm always checking the clearances and just making sure that everything's all right but Nick has built it in a way that it will always be reliable 
for me. You know, it's not stretched to the absolute limit. We don't. So, what what kind of rev limits do you go to? Um, it's about eight and a half thousand actually. Yeah. Um, I changed gear at about eight thousand two hundred, but the limiter is set at eight and a half. It will go further than that, but the really it's started to run out of steam then. Um, that is basically down to its special crankshaft yeah. and internals really yeah, yeah. that allows it to do that um, yeah. regularly without <laughs> without blowing up. Um, but it's a fantastic engine. It's so smooth. Yeah. pulls all the way through yeah. it's, it's a lovely thing it really is and what what hills have you been up in it um i used to concentrate on the hills in the northwest of england where i lived uh, traditionally so i've been to uh, harewood yeah. barben is probably one of my favorites um ha uh, harewood barben scamondon um Loughton park then which is a little bit further away yeah. uh, i've been to shellsley prescott uh, and then I've done a few sprints as well. So I did the new Brighton sprint at Wallasey oh, right. when that was running. Um, three sisters run some good sprints. Um, I went to Barkston Heath when that ran. Uh, I went over to Thorsby Park. Again, that's yeah, one that's yeah, fallen yeah. by the wayside. Um, You've been to Kerber at all? Of course. Yeah. I don't know why that wasn't at the top of the list. Kerber yeah. is always a venue to go yeah, to. Yeah. I like the end of season uh, meeting there, but I've been and done Kerber on a regular basis. Yeah. Uh, we've had a crack at the Brighton Speed Trials, oh, right. okay. uh, which is more of a, a drag race, but yeah. with a fantastic yeah. history. Yeah. And, and we went really well, really, yeah. really well there. Um, I did Chumley Pageant of Power, there's a sprint yeah. there, yeah. which we enjoyed. That's more of a, yeah. you know, yeah. a, a show weekend, That's really. Right, yeah. um, but we we want to go and do taking some more of the classic events now. So I'd love to go up to Scotland. Dune is on the list. Um, uh, Kirk Gersten. Yes. Um, yeah. All sorts of places yeah, yeah. that are, that are, I need to go and and, and do. Um, but it's it's a great car to uh, to enjoy, and it always draws a crowd. So. So have you got any film of it racing on the track? No, I haven't. No, I've no. got nothing in, in period. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, nothing no, at all. No, no. I've, I've, I've some photographs, um, some that Peter gave me. Um, I've had photographers from the period uh, offer, yeah, you know, yeah, photographs yeah, which yeah. I've collected. But there's no footage, no. Um, which is a shame. Yeah. In, in this modern era, we yeah. get so used to it, don't we? Would have been nice to see it. Wouldn't it, it would, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've never seen any um, footage of it. Whether someone's got some, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Photographs appear. Uh, more and more at the moment, um, but no, no yeah, footage yeah. in period uh, at all. It is a shame. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks very much for the information on the car, Ian, and it's a, it's a joy to see. You know, you've done a great job, Thank you. great job with it. It's a pleasure to bring it out, and it's, it's uh, we're having such a great time here, being yeah. there, taking the opportunity to speak to people about it and yeah. hear people's stories from period. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's always yeah. fascinating to hear. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks very much for the interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Ian. Thank you very much. Hello.